Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. Today I have a very special book that belongs to me. It was mine when I was a little girl. It's officially 35 years old. A friend of mine, her name was Layla, gave this to me as a Christmas present when I was five years old. It contains four different books, four different little short stories, and um, they were favorites of mine when I was a little girl. I'd like to share them with you today. The first one is called Mr. Bear's House. Once upon a time, there was a bear who lived in a cave in the woods. He was a fat brown bear, and he liked to go walking. One day, he walked to the edge of town. He heard a great hammering noise, and peeking out between leaves of the bushes, he saw a carpenter building a house. Mr. Bear was fascinated. Every day, he came back to watch. He saw the carpenter hammer the nails. He saw the house grow walls, roof, windows, and a porch. How much prettier than my cave, Mr. Bear said to himself. I want to live in a house. And so Mr. Bear went about the forest collecting pieces of wood until he had a big stack. Now he thought, I need a hammer. And so he made a hammer out of a rock and a stick. Now he said, I need some nails. And so he walked to the edge of town and looked around the new house. It was late in the day and the carpenter had gone home. Sure enough, there were some nails lying about on the ground. Mr. Bear picked them up and carried them back to the woods. Now Mr. Bear was really busy. He hammered and hammered and hammered, one nail after another. The animals in the forest heard the banging noise and came to see what was happening. Whatever are you doing, chirped the robins. I'm building a house, said Mr. Bear. With wood and such noise? The birds shook their heads. We use grasses and we don't make any noise at all. But I'm too big for a nest, said Mr. Bear. The beavers from the pond came over next. Whatever are you doing, they asked. I'm building a house, explained Mr. Bear. We use mud, not nails, to hold our house together, said the beavers. Mud wouldn't be strong enough for my house, Mr. Bear told them. But, noticed one old beaver, the wind will blow through the cracks in your house. Mr. Bear stopped work and surveyed his walls. Yes, there were cracks between the logs, and he could see daylight shining through. He shook his head sadly. It won't be as warm as a cave, ventured a timid deer. Mr. Bear looked quite disappointed. Let's all help, Mr. Bear, the old beaver suggested. We beavers will put mud in the cracks. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bear smiled happily, and the beavers hurried to the pond to fetch some mud. They put the mud in the cracks and smoothed it with their broad tails until no more daylight came shining through. Finally, the four walls of the house were built, with spaces for windows and a door. The rain can come in, said the rabbits who had come to watch. We don't have rain in our houses. I need a roof, Mr. Bear explained to them. But he himself was puzzled. How could he ever put a roof over his four walls? We'll help you, sang the birds. We'll make your roof. How, asked Mr. Bear. We'll weave a roof with long grasses, a thatched roof. Mr. Spare smiled his thanks. It took a long time for the birds to make the big thatched roof that Mr. Bear needed. While they gathered the grasses and wove it together, Mr. Bear was busy putting in his floor. Hammer, 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 bang, bang, bang. The noise echoed through the woods. As Mr. Bear put the last nail into his floor, a blue jay flew over his head. The roof is finished and it's ready to, pay, to be put on, he called. In a minute, hundreds of birds came flying and fluttering through the woods. They carried the new roof in their beaks. The blue jay waited until it was exactly over the top of the four walls. Now, he shouted, drop it. The birds opened their beaks and the roof fell into place. How splendid, how splendid, Mr. Bear danced in glee. Then he went ahead and made his door. His house really looked like a house now, but there were still no windows, just big openings where the windows could should fit. 
The rain can come in the windows, said the, the beavers, shaking their heads. The house will be cold, sighed the rabbits. Mrs. Durbear was dismayed. I shall have to ask the carpenter about windows, he decided. And so he walked to the edge of town again. There he saw the carpenter building another house. Mr. Carpenter, he called. The carpenter looked surprised. He put down his hammer, climbed down his ladder, and asked, Did you call me? Mr. Bear nodded. Yes, please, I did. I've never met a talking bear before, began the carpenter, scratching his head. All I want to know, said Mr. Bear, is how to put a window in a house. The carpenter looked bewildered. Then, seeing how serious the bear was, he explained. First, we make a frame. Then, we putty in the glass. Mr. Bear frowned. He did not understand. Why, the carpenter asked, why do you want to know? Because my house needs windows, answered Mr. Bear. Your house? More amazement showed in the carpenter's face. Your house? Yes, explained Mr. Bear. I am building a house, but I can't seem to manage the windows. Well, said the carpenter, if a bear can build a house, I guess I can put in the windows and without charge. Oh, exclaimed Mr. Bear, do you mean that? I certainly do, replied the carpenter. Well then, come and see my house, Mr. Bear urged. The carpenter went with him into the forest. There he saw a little house with a thatched roof and a wooden door. He opened the door and stepped inside onto the wooden floor. Unbelievable, he exclaimed. Why, if I hadn't seen it myself, I would never have believed it. He went over and looked at the two spaces Mr. Bear had left for his windows. Tomorrow morning, announced the carpenter, I shall be here early to put in your windows. He shook Mr. Bear's paw and left. Mr. Bear was quite pleased with his kindness. The very next morning, the carpenter came and put in the windows, frame and putty and glass and all. Mr. Bear thanked him warmly as he left. Now, Mr. Bear's house is finished, the bird sang. No, Mr. Bear told them, not yet. I have to make some furniture. And he made a bed, a table, and four chairs. Now, said Mr. Bear, I shall have a party for all my kind friends. The birds brought berries, the squirrels nuts, the beavers sent some apples, and the rabbits came with carrots. Mr. Bear furnished the honey. He invited the kind carpenter too, and that good man brought ice cream, enough for all. Oh, happy day, sighed Mr. Bear. And that is how fat brown Mr. Bear came to live in his comfortable little house in the woods. And that was the end of Mr. Brown Bear's house. <laughs>